Sunscreen is a toxic substance, and we simply cannot allow toxic things to be in our schools. They make it their business to mind your business. Our nation's control freaks got even freakier in 2014. From jetpacks to parking apps, eco ATMs, and powdered alcohol, they were determined to kill anything cutting edge. They targeted everything from dogs in parks to births at home, and they'll sick cops on you for hoarding or smelling bad. You might even get busted for doing things that are legal like vaping while driving, warning motorists about speed traps, or putting up Christmas lights. Yep, the mayor of Tenafly, New Jersey showed up at the Alvator house on Christmas Eve, demanding that the family take down their display. I felt like the Grinch was knocking <laughs> at my front door, and I, my children felt the same way. Poor kids. Killjoys are yanking their chocolate milk, boogie boards, homemade libraries, even sunscreen? Sunscreen is a toxic substance, and we simply cannot allow toxic things to be in our schools. And no, Ms. Chancellor is not nanny of the year, and it's because this happened. Obama has decimated the friggin' Constitution, so I don't give a damn because if he doesn't follow the Constitution, we don't have to. The cop angrily denied a man's public records request inside the Helmet in New Jersey Municipal Building, and a man captured the incident on his smartphone. The video went viral, and council members reacted to the public embarrassment by inviting more ridicule when they pushed to ban photography and video in public buildings. Council members, that's the Ola? Yes. Bruno? Yes. Under the proposed ordinance, citizens would need a permit to capture such moments of candor in the future, although public meetings would be exempt from the requirement. If passed, the next citizen muckraker to embarrass a Helmetto official could face up to $2,000 in fines and up to 90 days in jail. But you'll never guess how officials justified their assault on transparency by invoking the children. Some pictures have been taken of underage children volunteering at the shelter. It needs to be addressed. Someone is finally thinking about the children. Behold the Helmetta City Council, your 2014 Nanny of the Year. Be sure to follow the show on Twitter. Thanks for sending your nominees and watch out for busybodies minding your own business.